Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Team Toyota Princeton to take a look at a brand new 2023 Toyota Tundra. This is the Crewmax top of the line trim capstone with the brand new iForce Max engine. So we're going to take a look at this, check it out, see what it brings to the table in this full size pickup truck market. So let's dig in. All right, on the front end of this Tundra capstone, huge chrome grille, Tundra badge underneath the big Toyota badge, of course, with the blue, as the iForce Max engine is a hybrid setup. We have LED headlights, LED turn signals, LED daytime running lamps, LED fog lamps, skid plates, the whole nine yards, functional side air curtains, the whole nine yards on this uh, Tundra. Let me know what you think in the comments. As we come up on the hood of this Tundra, as you can see, we got two bulges on either side. As we swing around, we have the iForce Max in the, the chrome with the blue outline, looking awesome on top of this hood. Just a massive hood on this Toyota, Toyota Tundra, and it's such a massive vehicle to begin with, but it's looking awesome. Wheel and tire setup on this Tundra. 22 inch wheel, gunmetal gray with silver, looking good, Toyota badge in the middle, standard brake and rotor package. This is wrapped with uh, Bridgestone tires, 265 on the width, a 50 series sidewall, 22s, all four corners, four wheel drive. Full side profile on this Tundra, it's one big gigantic Crewmax pickup truck. Color here is wind chill, which looks really cool, kind of a deeper white color. Uh, really looks neat. I love the new design on the Tundra with those hard body lines on the front fender and on the rear quarter panels. We got blinged up chrome everywhere on this thing since we got the capstone action going on. Let me know if this looks too fancy for a pickup truck. It certainly looks like a luxury pickup for sure. As we move in closer, you can see we got this chrome action going on on the side view mirror with LED turn signals, 360 degree cameras. We got the capstone badge down below and that trim runs all along the bottom of the door. We're chromed up on the front and rear door handle, left side fuel filler. We got the bed with the spray and bed liner, more on the bed a little bit later in the review. Up top, we have the color matched black shark fin antenna with the large sunroof. Back end of the Tundra, lovely tailgate. I love the Tundra that's stamped in with the extra lettering to make it stand out. The Toyota Chrome bed handle up top, 4x4 on the left. Big step up bumper on the back with some more Chrome, the tow hitch, the whole nine yards. Looking awesome. LED taillights, LED turn signals, of course, in the back of this Tundra. Top of the line action. Looking really good. All right, look, taking a look at the engine underneath this Tundra capstone, we have the big dog engine in here. Gone is the Toyota V8. In is the new iForce Max. Twin turbo, V6, hybrid engine, 437 horsepower, 583 pound-feet of torque, mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. This vehicle can tow up to 10,340 pounds. MPGs 19 in the city, 22 on the highway, 20 combined. So your MPGs aren't going to be much better than that old V8, pretty much. But it is the newest in technology. It has the hybrid action in it. And it can have, it has big towing numbers. It has big torque numbers. It's a brand new engine. We'll see what the reliability is going to be over the coming years because we knew that V8 Toyota engine was big time reliable. But we'll see what this one does. But given Toyota's reputation for quality and reliability, probably wouldn't have a worry with this engine. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about it. All right, opening up the door to this Tundra capstone. You open it up and bingo, our running boards pop out for us. That's a nice touch. And now before we get into the interior, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much does this Tundra capstone iForce Max action cost? It's a big price tag. For a lot of truck, $78,463 is the MSRP, so let's check out the interior. Looking at the foot box, nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. You got the all-season Tundra floor mats down. The carpeted ones are in the back of the vehicle. Seats, power seats with lumbar and this button right here with thigh support. 
So that's a nice touch there. Black leather with the stitching and the two-tone with the black and the white with the nice headrests, nice and soft bolstering. Really looks good inside this Tundra. Here we are in the interior and we got door panel action first. Look at all the action on this door panel where you got the leather up top with the white stitching. Then you have the white or almost stone color leather with the stitching brushed aluminum on the door handle nice soft armrest flat black on the switch switch gear wood trim more on the bottom we have more of that brushed aluminum a lot of action going on on this door panel but it looks great up top here we have the soft touch the wood and right underneath here i don't know if you can see it it says capstone and then more of that stone color and then underneath here a nice large glove box look at the size of this infotainment screen in this truck this is the 14 inch toyota multimedia system we have wireless apple carplay wireless android auto the navigation and everything is hooked up to be over the air so you get over the air maps up map updates over the air software updates therefore you need to subscribe and log in with your name, user ID, password in order to get the nav to work. And unfortunately, we can't do that because it's not my truck and it's not a press vehicle that's for sale. But we can play our music. We can connect our phone. We can go into here, into the vehicle settings, and we can see, get all of our data. We can clear the data. We can go to history. We can go to current. We can go to our settings. We can go to personal info and reset those. Bluetooth to phone, if we want to do that. Go to general settings and change those things. And then we got our Wi-Fi hotspot and all that jazz. We've seen the system before in the smaller 12 inch. This is the big dog 14 inch looking really good. Two heat and air vents on either side as it's it is actually integrated into the dash, which I really like and not just stuck on like an iPad. Coming on down, dual climate action, of course, where, what else would it be? We have three-stage heated seats, three-stage ventilated seats for the driver and the front passenger. So that's a nice touch. Coming on down. Look at all this action going on down here now. We got our four-way hazards. We got our traction control off. We got our camera view. This is the trailer action where you want to save a trailer in into the computer here or add a new trailer in. So that's a nice touch there. Here is this big gigantic gear shift to go through this 10-speed automatic transmission. We got a wireless charging pad right there. We have two cup holders. The key fob is a bit disappointing for this really, really nice truck. Lock, unlock. We got pop the tailgate and panic button, Toyota badge. Wish this came with something a little bit more substantial, a little bit more, a little bit nicer. And then we come down here. We got two high, four high, four low, depending on where you want to go. We got an electronic sl limited slip diff in this thing and all sorts of action, two speed transfer case, all that action, drive modes tow haul we'll go through the drive modes when we hit this dash then we come up to this ginormous center armrest enough room for you and your front passenger to rest your arm which is a nice touch and then you slide this back boom USB A, USB C, and look at this three slots for change in case you need change for the tolls I mean this they must have known this car was coming to Jersey with all the tolls we have around here then you open this up and we have a little spot here for papers and stuff so they got you covered here for sure. Backup camera to reverse. Look at that. Nice and clear with trajectory. There's some water on it, but it's beautifully clear with the 360 degree view. You can change all your camera actions. You can see somebody's coming behind me. It gives me some action. You can change all your camera views back here. You can reset your guidance however you would like it. You can set up your tow to see how that tow camera to see that center line. A lot of nice v action on this rear view camera from Toyota. Great job. Toyota steering wheel. Now you've heard me complain about so Toyota steering wheels and some of the other ones as other models as being too bland. This is what I'm talking about for a Toyota steering wheel. Leather wrapped 
10 and 2 notches, stitching, the badge, the chrome trim all around, looking awesome. Flat black on the switch gear with a little gloss black sprinkled in, nothing too heavy. Looking really good. We have telephone and voice commands on the left and on the right you got your diameter. Uh, cruise control, lane keep assist controls, modes for your infotainment system. Obviously the cruise control is adaptive. And then on the stocks here you got your headlights, fog lamp controls, and on the right you have your windshield wiper controls. Down below we got all sorts of action going on here. You got your bed light on off, you have your adaptive high beams, gas up the vehicle by popping the fuel filler, we got odometer, we have our 12 AC 120 volt heated steering wheel and then we have our uh, power steps on or off to get in the truck that's what that's for so overall really nice action going on and uh, and this is the power step auto button over here so a lot of action we have an electronic tilting and telescoping steering wheel and then look at this action a 12 inch digital dash big action here. I think it looks awesome the way this dash is uh, configured. Now our drive mode action. We have eco, normal, sport. You can see how everything in the truck changes when you go through that. Then you can hit tow haul. And now you just have a little green button that comes up here that says tow haul. So a lot of action going on with these drive modes in the iForce Max. I think today we're going to keep it in normal and see what goes on. But it's a really cool dash. And then obviously you can also thumb through additional information in the dash by using the buttons on the left side of the steering wheel. And that will give you everything you need to know in this iForce Max dash. And when you turn the vehicle on, see if I can turn this off real quick. We'll turn it back on, see if I can get, pretend I'm getting out. Now we'll, we'll turn it back on, see if I get a nice little display that comes up. Look at that. Look at that action. That's totally awesome. I know I'm a sucker for stuff like that, but it looks really, really cool. And we're back on. So pretty cool stuff. And as we come up here, digital rear view mirror. That's the way to do it. Toyota, especially in a vehicle this big, is getting this mirror up top. Now we got a whole sorts of action going on on the overhead console. So we have the button here. Leave it in the center on door. So when you open the door, our lighting comes on. When we close the door, our lighting goes off and now we have the shade and the roof controls. One touch operation, just hold it in for a second and this shade is going to go all the way back across and over the back of the rear passengers as well in this pickup. So we got panoramic action and then this one is to open the roof but since it's raining we're not doing that because I'm not getting the interior of this beautiful truck wet. And then it's one touch all the way back and it's pretty quick. So that's looking good here in this pickup. And now we have our sunshade with vanity. Does it slide? Yep. Block out the side sun. Nicely done. Driver door panel. We got two memory seat settings down here. And with this button right here, we can go ahead and get those power fold mirrors going. And so when you lock the vehicle, they'll fold in. Good job. All right, we're getting into the back of this Tundra Crewmax capstone. That driver's seat is set for my driving position. Just so you know, here are the carpeted floor mats that say Tundra capstone. I just got them out of the way so we could get on in. And now we have the running board down. Just step in nice and easy. Woo! Look at that action. Plenty of room for my knees, plenty of room for my head at 5 foot 11, plenty of shoulder width room. That nice leather all the way down the back, seat pocket right here behind the driver and front passenger. And then we get to the back here, and we got the big time command center going on back here because it's so darn wide. Two heat and air vents, three stage heated seats, three stage ventilated seats for the driver, or excuse me, the driver, for both rear passengers. And then we got USB action here, an A and a C. And 
a home power source so they got you covered for connectivity power and comfort in the back of this capstone again beautiful door panels just like the front door panel as you can see the front door panel is there the rear door panel is here and as i come across to my side we have the sunshade that'll go up so your passengers can have some privacy so not only is this thing a truck it's a limo for crying out loud in the back we have these beautiful leather seats again with the stone with the two-tone action with the beautiful stitching we have a center armrest that comes down nice and soft two cup holders looking good but let me know in the comments what you think about this interior of this ginormous tundra capstone i force max one of the best names for an engine ever i think let me know what you think in the comments all right we're here at the tailgate area of the tundra you can pop the tailgate from your key fob as i showed you you can come back here as well now watch down on the bottom left where i'm pointing when i open up this tailgate you got a step that pops out right here so obviously it's unless you're monstrously tall you're going to need to use a step to get in you can just step on it and get yourself up into the bed of this truck look at this action here we've got a five and a half foot 66 inch bed to be exact in this tundra with the bed liner with the sliding tie downs so you can secure stuff with the led lighting here's the bed lighting up here Here's your backup camera and your digital rear view camera right up here. So they got you covered in the back bed of this Tundra. And now we're going to back out of here. And if we come over to this side, you got power action in the back as well. So they got you covered here in this Tundra. And then you just pop it back up and you're ready to go you have all the plastic protection up here it says tundra right up here all this protection on top here so in case you have stuff that's dangling over or you don't want to damage the paint they got you covered there as well looking good here is the window sticker of this iForce max toyota tundra capstone feel free to pause the video check out everything that's in this vehicle and now let's take her out for a spin All right, we're out here driving this 2023 Tundra Capstone Crew Max I Force Max action in the rain, in the massive rain, unfortunately today. But we had to get out of here and get this Tundra taken care of and filmed and ready to rock and roll. And I've been driving it a little bit before I turn the camera on, and I got to tell you. Being from Jersey, gotta tell you, I have to tell you that this is a really smooth driving pickup. I mean, it's almost too nice to be a pickup, honestly. I mean, this capstone is like the interior of a, a, a of a luxury car that you could use as a livery vehicle to give people rides around to fancy restaurants and stuff. I mean, this thing is beautiful on the inside course this stone in, uh, interior is going to get a little dirty uh, with use so be careful on what you uh, wear when you uh, sit in here luckily the bases of the seats are black so you don't have to worry about much stuff rubbing off but this thing is a beast a total beast but it handles well it's really well damped And, you know, the, the, the tires are soaking up the bumps. The suspension is really well done. Uh, you know, you have major ground clearance in this iForce Max capstone at 9.3 inches of ground clearance. We have the limited slip diff. We have the, you know, electronically controlled transfer case. So it's going to, depending on what drive mode you're in, it's going to put you in either too high four high four low that kind of thing and this engine has a growl to it that I wasn't expecting uh, 
it's a really cool growl. It's, it's not like a V8 rumble, but it's like this really cool growl to this iForce Max engine uh, that Toyota went to. And you can really feel the torque coming in low to get this big vehicle down the road. Now, if I forgot to mention in the bed, sorry about that. My Toyota thought I was talking to it, but, <laughs> but the bed, like I mentioned earlier, is 66 inches. Payload capacity, 1,940 pounds. So you can put a lot of stuff in that bed. And the towing numbers are big. And I love this digital rear view mirror and everything that they put into this. Now this is so wet out here today, we're not going to get this thing up to 45 miles an hour and do an emergency stop. It would be silly. Uh, slide all over the place, but we are going to do one as after we get around the curve here from a lower speed just to get a feel for for it. Got a nice head up display. It's giving me uh, the direction I'm traveling, the speed I'm going, and the speed limit on the road, and it's giving me my eco uh, score on the drive. <laughs> This big truck with an eco score. But here we are a little bit slower now. We're going to do emergency stop for three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Nice and smooth. Linear. Brakes came on throughout the anchors. Nice. Very, very nice. And you can, if you can hear that rumble, I don't know if the... The camera's picking it up, but it's got that really cool grumbly kind of sound, like a hungry bear kind of growl to it, which I think is really, really cool. Wasn't expecting that out of this twin turbo V6 hybrid engine setup. But if I failed to mention, you have all the safety suite in here, Blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, all that good stuff is in this Tundra iForce Max. So they got everything maxed out in here. When they say max, everything is maxed out as far as features. And here we go. We're going to take off from a standstill and uh, see what it looks, sounds like. This is this is cool boy. This is so cool. I'm loving this truck. Wow. That engine is something else. Woo! Woo! Ah. Oh. And it's comfortable. Wallows a little bit. You know, we are in normal mode. But oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, is this engine something else? Wow, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. I really wasn't. I was gonna thought I was gonna tell everybody, oh, I missed the V8 engine. Oh, not with this thing. Wow, Toyota has done some really, they put some serious money into research and development of this iForce Max engine to make it just brilliant to drive just brilliant now I mentioned earlier it's a brand new engine so what's the reliability going to be like you know the jury's out on that we knew that Toyota V8 was bulletproof and you know my, my feeling is Toyota is known for quality and reliability of their of their equipment and I see no reason why with their their uh, reputation that they would have let this slide with less than rigorous rigorous QA testing before they put it out in their trucks uh, but we'll see if any issues crop up if you do have a Toyota with an iForce Max engine in it let me know 
how it's been if you've had any issues so far. Uh, I haven't heard of anything major with this engine uh, in the literature I've been reading, but you never know. But I'm loving the performance. I'm loving the sound. I'm loving the smoothness of the drive. I'm loving all of the features and beautiful leather interior in here. It's just it's too nice for a pickup truck. I mean, it's just too nice. I know pickup trucks are getting to be the where, where people buy them just to drive them around town like luxury SUVs. And in case they may need to throw something in the back because they're doing some work around the house, they have that option, but they're used more like a car. I don't, this thing is so nice. I can't see taking it off road. I can't see taking it to a job site at all in this capstone. This thing is so beautiful. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad Toyota built it. I'm really glad Toyota built it because it is a hoot to uh to drive around wow wow it is nice what do you guys think toyota tundra iforce max it doesn't have trim you can go with a lesser trim make it a little bit less expensive but of course if you go way too down too far in trims then you won't get the iforce max engine you'll get an iforce v6 but it won't be this max action and so you won't have as much horsepower and torque so there are a couple of different variations of this iForce V6 from Toyota. I love the Max action though. I want to. I will get in one that has the uh, the lesser iForce engine in it, not the Max. But this one is just unbelievable. But what what do you think? Is it Tundra? Are you are you going Tundra with your pickup truck? Are you saying you know what? I've had a Ford F-150 forever. I love Ford F-150s. I'm sticking with Ford and I'm going with another new F-150. Or are you going to go Silverado, Dodge Ram? You know, what do you think? Nissan Titan? There's one that everybody thinks about. What are you thinking on these full-size pickups? This is my first time in a Toyota Tundra. And I'm in a Capstone iForce Max. The top, top, top line action and I'm loving every second of it every second so let me know what you guys would do with this iForce Max Tundra are you going Tundra let me know in the comments are you going somewhere else let me know in the comments all right we're getting on the highway now in this iForce Max Tundra let's see how she does Taking these high, these uh, on-ramp curves really, really well. Great brakes. Great brakes. Feel really good. Nice and positive when you step on the pedal. All right, all right, so we're up on the highway, not a problem, a lot of good confidence. Look how nice that digital rear view camera looks in the mirror, how clear it is. I can read the name Ford on the grill of that truck as it's coming up on me. I mean, I can see the blue oval. It's unbelievable how clear that camera is. Fantastic job on that from Toyota, for sure. But, you know, with all the rain pelting the windshield, you probably can't listen for wind noise, but it is a little, there's a little wind noise, not, not a lot, just a little bit. But really, really well done, really well done by Toyota in this iForce Max Tundra. So I think we're gonna wrap up this review right here. I wanna thank Team Toyota of Princeton for allowing the channel access to this beautiful 2023 Toyota Tundra Capstone Crew Max iForce Max pickup truck for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell 
so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.